Any better? Hello, Gary. Oh, no. Gary's got you. Uh, you're right there. Absolutely great. Thank you very much. Well, I feel as if I really ought to let you out to watch this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> no, we sent him. We sent him on an incredible round trip. Uh, the point was, he had um, he'd said for years that I'd never catch him. And he uh, has written in his column about Terry Hatcher, who you describe as international totty, I Absolutely. believe. Absolutely. Well done. And we knew we'd get him. And so Stuart Higgins, who's the editor of The Sun, set up this totally fictitious job for him to go all the way to L.A. to meet Terry Hatcher. We laced in a few other things before his great surprise, like a limousine journey that was just plainly daft and also a manager who was absolutely ghastly. Let's start at Heathrow as he now commences 12 hours, the first 12 hours, on his way to Los Angeles, drinking the flight, me to wave the aircraft in, you didn't wave back, <laughs> and then the limousine company collected him at the airport, we filmed him crossing the car park to the car, and then the nightmare begins. Let me just tell you a little bit about what we have for you here. There's um, some ice um, underneath the little flip-up bars on that side. And then above you, there's some controls for the air and the um, music and whatnot. Okay. So we're just open, so everything's fine. So, you know, both the doors are operational. And there's glasses. I mean, there's six, but... There's ice uh, on either side. Okay. Ice. Thanks. Okay. So they, what they'd like us to do is tailor everything. You know, I can tell you can't hear me. No, I can hear you. I'm fine. Yeah. Are you sure? Because yeah. I. No, don't worry. I'm fine. Oh, that's all right. I can tell you. Um, so, um, how how often do you use a limousine service? Uh, at least twice a week. Twice a week. Wow. To what extent is um, privacy or confidentiality, like what I was talking about, uh, an issue when considering a limousine service? Oh, I, I sometimes you, sometimes you need it, don't you? So, yeah, I would have thought so. If it's been guaranteed, yeah, I think it's important. I, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Um, sometimes I can't understand your accent. I'm gonna just. Commit. I talk too fast, probably. Yeah. Oh, you you, you want to? Um, discretion's important, isn't it? Discretion. Yeah. There. Oh, that's better. Okay. Um, discretion is important. Um, so now, do you interview celebrities um, yeah, I, I on think... your show? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, that would be fun. I think that would be fun. Um, all the time, we've had some... I don't, I don't think it'd mean much to you, but we've had some people who are very big in England. I mean, major, major TV stars. Uh, uh, Barbara Windsor. Is she one of the House of Windsor? No, <laughs> no, it's the East End Windsor. Yes, this is Michael. Is everything okay? One of the other cars went down um, at a hotel. We're just going to swing by and um, see if we can fix the situation. There's somebody that just needs a, a ride, like, down the block from sure. there. It's right on the way. Okay. You had a break then? Pardon? You had a break then? Car broke then? Yes. And it's so difficult to get appointments with Dustin. Let's get Michelle. I beg your pardon? Let's get her Hello. Uh, how, nice. how do you do? Nice to meet you. Oh, Evelyn Devine. Oh. Nice to meet you. He, um, well, and mine's supposed to be confidential. <laughs> um, he's kind of a celebrity in England. Oh, Only really? kind of, only glib. That's wonderful. Shelly, you're being petted by a celebrity. <laughs> You know what page three is? <laughs> page three? Oh dear. No, no, I'm embarrassed. No. I don't know. No, you don't want to. <laughs> Are you getting nervous? Would you just talk to Darla for just one second? I'll get a little nervous sometimes in the car. It's okay, Marcello. It's good. Nice colors again. Go and get your nice bath. 
What time is it where you are? Um, half eleven at night. <gasps> oh my! So, so you're going to be interviewing her when it would be like three in the morning. Just working out. It's seven o'clock, so it will be three in the morning. Yeah. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! What are you going to ask her? Oh yeah. Uh, I was just like, I'm coherent by that time. <laughs> <laughs> Anything would be nice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, here we go. Thank you again. Oh, this is so kind of you. I can't. This is actually one of the more famous streets in residential Beverly Hills. And right up here, right here, see this house right here? Yes. Yeah. That is the house of John Wayne. And see how they have those gates there oh, with right. the, the spires on them? Yeah. I mean, he doesn't live there anymore because no. he's not with us. He had cattle, and he would have um, cattle on the front lawn, and that's what he mowed his lawn with. And which, I mean, you know, it's John Wayne. You got to let him do that. Absolutely. But the people they didn't like that. This um, Chinese style house um, was a diplomat's house. I think it was Mao Zedong um, used to live in that house, um, and no one knew it. Oh, great! Zoom in. Think up in front of the other hotel. So we're a long way into the ordeal now, and we, well, because we're not mean, we did let him actually have a little break for an hour or so before he met Terry's manager, who obviously was an actor. And um, this chap managed to get everything wrong because uh, Gary never ever pays fees for the big interview, so there's a conversation about the money, and he hasn't organized a photographer, so it's all going to go to worms from here on in. And here is the uh, manager in the limousine. He's getting in right now. No, he looks like a nice guy. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be fine. Yeah. Is your photographer being up there? Or? Oh, I haven't actually done a photographer, so... Um, you didn't arrange yours? No. Oh. Anyway, it's a good flight. Everything was fine. Yeah, everything was fine. I thought Stuart, who... Mm -hmm. Don't we dance it? Yeah, that's what we've been you, trying to do. You're going to have a photographer. Well, we can supply some art, but I want to get you... Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, that's a um, shame. Mm. When do you meet her? Just address her as ma'am. Yeah. To start. Let her do whatever she wants to do, and that works much better. You know. um. So, anyway, and how do you want to handle the fee? Traveler's checks, cash. <laughs> yeah, check. No, Stuart's handling all that. He is. Huh. Okay. She, she'll like you. She'll like you. She likes older men and so feel, so feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah. You know, so that sort of. Well, you know. Good recovery there, Stuart's for handling the fee. Just flap it now. Yeah, it? yeah. Well, here we are. We're coming to the big moment, justifying a six thousand mile journey, and we're about to see Gary entering Terry Hatcher's suite. I would never get you. I got you, well and truly. It's not over yet, no. What do you mean it's not over yet? It's just the battle, not the war. <laughs> on the plane and sent him all the way back again. He never did get to meet Terry Hatcher. <laughs> Gary Bush, with great pleasure, I did get you. Thank you. Gary. Thank you. 